I'm seeing more listings come become available that have seller financing options. So let's talk through a pro and perhaps a con that uh, of, of that type of financing. As a seller, let's say that uh, particularly in a higher priced home, uh, if you're trying to avoid doing big price reductions, uh, if you go into a seller financing position, let's say that your current uh, mortgage terms are in the 3% range and a new buyer could only get in the 7% range, just as an example, um, that, depending on the loan amount, could be uh, several hundred to even thousands of dollars difference in payment a month. Well, by allowing them to get in at those lower terms, uh, that opens up more buying power for them and may help you hold a higher purchase or sales price on your property. Now, a seller financing is different than an assumption. A seller financing, you do a new note and deed of trust. You become the mortgage bank uh, and you can mirror those terms if you'd like on your mortgage. You can negotiate whatever you would want. Uh, but then you record that, you transfer the title over into the new buyer's name. The challenge uh, that I see people run into is often they're doing a seller finance to eliminate the mortgage, the current mortgage payment so they can qualify for a new home uh, and not have two mortgage payments against them. The challenge is, as Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac require, that to be treated as notes payable income, meaning that you have to show payment uh, receipt from that new buyer for a period of 12 months to be able to count that. And so you may end up having to qualify with both house payments. There are other ways around that. So feel free to reach out or shoot me a direct message if you want to explore those.